hello everyone so today a few hours ago closure 1.11 got released and it has a bunch of really cool features which i kind of wanted to explore um so that's what i'll do now um what i've done here is on the left i have a project open with closure 1.10 uh, the old one and on the right we've got a project where we are going to use closure 1.11 right so the first question is how do I install Closure 1.11? It's simple. If you're using Debs.Eden, we just need to mention it uh, as one of the dependencies. So let's do that. And here we will do 1.11.0. And if we check in this other project, I have the dependency version as 1.10.3. Um, let's start up a REPL for both of these. Um, on the left and on the right okay and let's also verify that we have the new new closure versions okay perfect okay so one of the really uh, significant and cool thing <laughs> which is going to really help me out is that in closure dot in 1.10 right we had to do something like this to generate a random uuid and this is really really painful um in 1.11 we just do random uuid perfect right um that's awesome i think <laughs> this is such a small change but it's going to help at least at, this is the most significant one for me um Another cool thing is that now we have some more functions such as uh, absolute of minus one should give you one, but it gives you an error in 1.10. So now in 1.11, we get the absolute value. So there are a bunch more here. Um, so these are absolute, not number, infinite. Okay, so let's also check another cool function, which is uh, update keys. So let's create a map let's call it a1 and b2 and maybe i want to make all of these keys uppercase right so let's let's try to do that let's use the new function update keys uh, let's give it this map and then let's give it a function where we call closure.string slash uppercase right so this function takes only one argument uh, so we could actually just do something like this and let's try to run this and now we are getting back a string which is not what we wanted uh, so let's actually make this into a keyword again so let's take this make it uppercase and then make it keyword back again and bam um, so yeah, uh, this is super cool and something similar is update values. So let's say if we had something like wow and amazing and instead of update keys, we can do update values here. Okay, is it not update values? What is it? Uh, okay, it's update vals. and amazing cool um so apart from this uh, there's also iteration which i'll look into in a bit um one more cool thing is keyword arguments so let's go back to 1.10 and try to create a function so let's say uh, this function is set up logging or something and this function takes something like maybe uh, our bossity level or maybe it takes uh, log namespaces, something like that. And let's say we want to put, we want to give, give an optional setting, right? Maybe we want to give an optional setting for the level. Um, one way to do that is to use the default optional settings. So we could do something like this and then give it a level as info. Okay. Um, so let's try to kind of just return the level here in an array um, and also let's return this log and right 
and let's try to call this so let's call this with something like my name space and let's see what we get okay so we get my ns and info because that's the default level um if we actually didn't have this right if we didn't give this or uh, let's see what we would get here so we get a nil which is fine um but we need so let, let the or be and now we can actually override this level right so we could do something like level and then give it one and let's do that and now we get one um but the problem here is that this is fine if we are writing the code but what if what if i'm inside another function right i'm inside another function which maybe it's like set up system and it takes like a huge option options map or something um and inside of this options map we have like a logging map configuration maybe you are reading it from error or someplace and then we are calling setup logging here right um now i don't want to do something like this right i would i don't want to do something like uh, level uh, like get the ops map then get the logging config then get the level um and level isn't the only option right like maybe i have another another parameter here like instead of level i have verbosity let's say then i'm doing something like ops map again and logging config and verbosity so this this gets out of hand basically um what what i want to do here is that i want to pass it a map so if i could do something like this uh, okay so let's just try to run this first um okay so let's try running setup logging Okay, so we do get an error, but let's also try to see if we get verbosity here. Okay, so we do get this, uh, but that's the problem, right? I kind of uh, had to do all of this manual stuff. It would have been nice if I could just have passed the logging config directly, right? Um, so let's try to do that. Let's see if it actually works or not. So let me just uh, comment this out. So what I would really want to do is that instead of providing both of these, can I just provide the login config map? So ops map and login config. Right, let's let's get rid of this. Um and let's see if this works, right? Let's let's see if this works. So let's define this. And bam. So it says that no value supplied for key. Basically, it, it won't allow you to pass in a map. As configurations you have to pass it using those uh, using the key value key value pair mapping um, but that changes that changes in 1.11 so let's let's copy let's copy this exact same thing on the right and let's eval this and let's let's make sure that you know this works so yep info nil one nil perfect and and let's let's remove this and now we have this optional we have this map given here right uh, so this map will now bind to this directly so this is this is super super handy i think this is going to be a killer feature in 1.11 and it's going to bring back keyword arguments back in fashion um so yep i think let's try to just evaluate this once more and yes this works so there's no error now it works um and this is super cool i think what else was there okay so we've got closure.math uh, so let me actually require that here so let's do require closure.math 
as m let's say or let's let's just call it math um so now i can do things like math.py right i can just call these um so this is super cool i can also do things like math dot round and, and and a bunch of features right go check it out apart from this uh, we also have okay so now for i think the last bit is a special kind of alias so uh, so some okay so what happens sometimes is that we want to access a namespace symbol right and we don't want to load that though so maybe for spec maybe for reframe or things like that we just don't want to load that entire file but we still need those namespace symbols or we want to pass some things around um in cases like those let's say we have like a namespace called as 11 dot data okay um slash me or whatever so now i want this namespace keyword i want access to this symbol but i don't want to load this entire lib so what i could do is that first let's let's create uh let's create this 11.data.clj file um and let's create a def me and now i'm not i'm not going to evaluate this right now what i'm instead going to do is i'm going to require it here um and one more thing we'll do here is i'll try to add this print 11 that 11 dot data just got loaded and now let's go back here let's try to require this so 11 okay so as soon as i loaded this we can see that 11 dot data just got loaded uh, because it wasn't loaded previously uh, require kind of loaded that but we don't want this right we don't want to do this so what we can do is instead of as we can do it we can call it as alias and let's actually reload our repl so i can show this again that it doesn't the print function doesn't get called so let's reload this repl um so now that we have it loaded as as alias let me evaluate this and bam it did not load right it did not load um it says invalid dot me um uh, let's also try to evaluate this and you can see that there's no such var because it's not loaded um we can again kind of remove the as alias go back to as and we can see it's loaded and now it works so these are the changes in closure 1.11 which caught my eye um the official change log has a bunch more i guess uh so yeah do take a look um did i miss something okay Okay, so one more really cool thing is the situation function in 1.11 uh, and I won't be covering this right now, but in a future video. So stay tuned folks. Thanks.